start with that image and put it into this mock-up and we'll finish with that for displaying your Etsy artwork. As you can see, it's not actually what is in the frame, but yeah. So we'll start off, go to Safari, go to the esplanadeshop.com. There's a, a growing resource of free to use flat lay images and mock-ups. Um, all, with, all with blank paper in. Uh, so as you can see, there's various different styles and, and varieties. For this one, I think I'll use a, a portrait frame and there's one with pencils because it's a kid's room sort of artwork that we're going to be using. So go ahead, download and save. And then we'll jump over to Procreate and hit photo and import the image and also duplicate the image. We're going to have the top layer being the frame without the white background then the middle layer being your artwork and the bottom layer being the original image. So we go ahead and start chopping out the white paper background on the top layer. Uh, we'll use the mask tool for this one. And if you just tap, tap it, it'll do straight lines. Go around, try and keep it as close as you can to the, to the actual edge. And then tap it there to finish it off. And we're going to get the eraser and just remove remove the center. So effectively, this is making the frame for your artwork. There we go. That's what it looks like. Go ahead and import import the actual artwork that we want to edit in. And we'll scale it down using the uniform scale tool to start with. Get it get it close enough. A little bit. And then because the frame's at a slight angle, uh, we will need to line the edges up and distort the image a little bit just to make it look realistic so we'll use the distort tool a little earlier i dropped the opacity of the the top layer just so i could see where where the edges were and what i needed to do corner. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is um, make it look like it hasn't just been edited in. Uh, so we're going to need some of the, the bottom layer to some of the colors from the bottom layer to shine through. So we're going to change the blend mode on, on the artwork to multiply and It'll give it a more realistic look. I think it's a little bit dark, so what I'm doing is duplicating the layer and just dropping the opacity, changing blend mode on one of the artworks to normal, um, just to brighten it up a little bit more. And then we can go ahead and export the file. <laughs> 